Good morning, Raboisai. <laughs> ah, live from the center of the world. Some people say epi, epic, whatever you want to pronounce the C, not pronounce the C. Borough Park, Irak Koydish Borough Park. There's nothing like it. It really is. It's a, it's a mockum of chesed. Most banks per capita on, on 13th Avenue. It's, 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 it's an unbelievable place. Bar Park is amazing. I almost grew up here. I went to Yeshiva here for many years. It's great to be home. Wow, what a turnout. Gishmak. And you should know, there's, it's a tremendous Kiddush Hashem. You see, even within this room, we have all sorts of Yidin. All sorts, including myself. I'm like the outcast there. One of the only guys without a real beard. So Yishkar for welcoming me and uh, the Oilam. There's a lot of food here, there's a lot of geschmack of people, so yishkoyach. Lili nishma simi mirasi rus bas mordechai. Hayoim, shnei moser yoim, sheheim shavu echod, vechamisho yomim boimer, lo oimer, they say in Bar Park. Um, today we have a bunch of sponsors. Miriam bas simcha for a shidduch. And by Mark Ashkenazi, this chus shidduchim. For Rivka Yehudis Bas Yafachaya and the daughter of a dear friend, Dino Michal Bas Chanohinda, and Lilu Nishmas Rav Vigdor Akoyim Ben Rav Haravi Yisrael, Rav Agoyin, Rav Vigdor Miller, Zeich Tzadik Levracha. This is an unbelievable man. If you haven't had the opportunity, you should listen. I didn't even read this. You should listen to the stuff if you could get it. It's not like they mean daf. You have to like pay or whatever. It's a home zaf, but you should try to listen to it. Happy birthday! To Valerie Mirwis, Eitan and all your children, happy birthday. Eitan, you should continue doing the dive with us. When did you start? No, who is it? Who is it? Oh, here he is. Show me you. What? Psachim. Why am I looking at you? Yeah, Psachim. Okay, Givaldic. Continue. Shas. You the Lewis from my mother's yard site. Mashat Sivio Bas Shlemizam and Alevi. In memory of Jay Spector's mother, Gitel Bas Eliezer Mayer, by the friends of MDY. Where is he? He's from the Five Towns, no? In memory of the yard side of Ruven Yaakov Ben Hill, Yosef Akoyen Lefkovitz. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Lefkovitz. By the Kamiansky family. Avadis. Lef- oh, now I know what it is. The Kamiansky family. This is a big tzaddik who actually built my sons. My two sons go to this school in Eretz Torah Shalom. So he uh, sponsored the building. Zaidi was a pillar of our family, a survivor who helped so many. He had a love for Israel, Torah, and especially that for Yemen. Shama should have an Aliyah. Gedalia Miller for Schus, for Shidduch, for my son, Moshe Miller. All right, a lot of Shidduchim. Um, where did, did he run away? I think he ran away. I was about to say a story about my good friend David Schwab. I think because I told him I'm going to say the story ran away. He's a big Tanoa. Where is he? David, are you here? He's not here. I'll say the story anyways. Um, Rabbi said, this is how it's done in Barra Park. Let me show you what... Um, this is a chart in Farakway. <laughs> this is a chart in Ramat Bet Shemesh. This is Menachem Mate learning the daf at Kever Reb Shimon Bar I sent this to the Oilam to print because I, I don't have a printer, as I told you. And this is what they did. Unbelievable. Here, you want to see what the next one? This is a Pasuk. Right, a Pasuk. <laughs> yeah, So listen to this. Um, <laughs> Menachem, I was just seeing, I wanted to see if you're watching. Okay, great. Shkoyach for doing daf. Yishkoyach for not watching. You know, when people send in the picture, they usually put a phone there of me in there, pretending that they're watching the shir. You don't, there's not, it's so big and everybody can tell you're not it. Whatever. Shkoyach. But because you're a dear friend, I put up the picture. So um, some of the guys got together. Uh, Yossi Klein and, 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 and these guys. Uh, who was it from Los Angeles? You know, Bobblehead from Los Angeles said he... Aaron Shalom, Aaron Shalom, Aaron Shalom from Los Angeles. A bunch of guys, a bunch of guys got together as a Karasatoyev to the Shir and they wanted to show 
more people about this year, they sponsored Gemaras. Take a wild guess how many people signed up in the last few days. 350 people so far. So, yeah. If anybody wants to be a big part of it, it's, it's unbelievable. To go spend a little money on a Gemara, hopefully the guy, most of the people, I would say 80% of the people wrote that they've never learned Afiyam in their life. So it would be a big schos, even if some of them, who knows, even if half of them stick around and learn Afiyam, it would be amazing. But there's uh, one person in this room that I myself just recruited to the DAF. And I want to talk about him a little, just for two seconds. So, you know, my, my son uh, got engaged recently. And when my mechutin, the new mechutin, has the same name as me, Eli Kapilovich, came to Chicago, the first thing I said, I said, uh, Shalom Aleichem, here, everybody say hello to him. He's here in the room. I said, uh, you know, I give a, a daf yomi He said, no, I didn't know. So I said, oh, give Alex. So he's not marrying me for the daf. <laughs> so but then I told him about the daf. And, uh, and uh, he's been watching ever since the next morning. Got on, and here he is. So I welcome, Yishkoyach, Yishkoyach for coming. Yishkoyach Mechutin, he's a great guy. And you could see that's why Malka is such a hush of a girl. So Yishkoyach for coming. So I want to read this amazing email I got today based on these uh, gemars that we're giving out. It says, Dear Reb Eli, this is from Dove Harris from England. Eli Posen and I are proud and grateful MDY members and owe you so much for the impact that you and the MDY had on our lives and that of our families. We have written to you previously, but wanted to let you know that Yeshua Enterprise told me to write to you. <laughs> As Eli Posen and I have been recruiting new members to MDY and having heard that the free art school Gemaras for new MDY members did not include those in the UK. We have arranged sponsorship for anyone in the UK who starts learning the daf and through your share for Yuma. So they are sponsoring all Gemaras in England. We circulate the message below to our contacts and you're welcome to let everyone online know that everyone in the UK who wants to join can claim the free Gemara. They're arranging shipping across the United Kingdom. So Yishkoyach, Dov Harris and Eli Posen. Thank you. All right. He's not here? Uh, David Schwab left? Okay. He was scared I was going to say, I'm going to say a Murray Dickens story. I'm going to say it anyway one day. But since he was so mocked that I shouldn't say it, he ran away because of it. So it's a great, great story. Remind me one day to talk about it. The story of not so much David Schwab, but his father and a whole Misa. Uh, it's, a, it's a story of Ashgacha Pratis, a beautiful Misa. Okay, it's a big honor of Tsunua. So he left. He might be behind that wall. He is? <laughs> David Schwab, get over here. Stop being uh, such a. We gotta say the Maisa. It's, a, it's Thursday night Maisa time. No, he doesn't want to come. Okay. Yeah, I won't make you come to the podium. Could I just say the story? Please give me Rishos. What does he say? Are you lying, Shalom? <laughs> okay. Zuck the Gemara. We're holding up Yud Chesam and Beis. The Chala. Ooh, we got Schlissel Chala from Strauss Bakery. Do you see the Schlissel in this? You could buy one at your local, or you could buy this off of me after. Oh, here it is. Here's the schlissel. As soon as Mr. Strauss leaves, that's his name. Are you allowed to pull the key out? Here it is. Here's the key. I'll sell this, autographed and everything, after the share. All proceeds. Okay, beautiful. Shkoyach. Ksiv. It's not yud chesem beis all the way in the bottom. For this, really, we need to jump. It's a little bit of a problem. I wanted to avoid it as much as possible, but we really have to go to the gra on the bottom over here. The Masifta sticks it right in. Others don't. But it goes like this. It's ois ches in the gra. Ksiv. We're talking about your yoda koin gadol. So they had better kabayis, and what did they do with it? They made the kalim, the clay shards. That's one pasuk. So the gun sticks in here, otherwise it's hard to understand the sugi oksiv. And it also says another pasuk, says the gun. You're not allowed to make clay shards. So it's a contradiction in the psukim. What is it? You make the, the clay shards, you don't make the clay shards. It's two different psukim talking about two different things. So, two different nedavas, one 
is four of the Ben Akabais, one not. And on top of that, you tell someone that I've taught in the very Rishmal, Nidava Achas. No. It, there's only one Nidava. The Chsiv, Vayoyme Hamelech, Vayasu, Aroin Echod, Vayitnu, Vayichal, Beis Hashem, Vayikov, Chor Bedaltoi. The other went, took a door, made a hole in it, or one closet, made a hole, and he put it where? Vayichal, Beis Hashem. Here, wow, this is, it's so good that it's hard to, to look at this. It's unbelievable, the colors and everything. Where do you get one of these machines, Ellie? Who did you did it? Wow, shkoyach. It's gorgeous stuff. Where? Where? What's the name of the store? Copy Corner in Borough Park. All right, look at this. It says, Eitzel Mizbech. The first pause again, Malach and Perik Bays. Where did he put this whole pushka, the new pushka? Eitzalam is beach. In red. And then down here it says, Vayyamel, this is Divri Ayom, Vyasu Aroin Echod, Vaitnu Bishar Bais Hashem Chutza. Outside. So it's a steer in the Psukim Bu. Eitzal Mizbeh by the Mizbeh or outside Chutza. So two Aroinas though. You see from here that there were two. Vodh si Vayyama Mel Vyasu Aroin Echod Vaitnu Bishar Bais Hashem Chutza Omar of Khuno. What's going on here? So, it's really one Adava, but there are people that are Tomei. So, if people are Tomei, they have to go Chutza. They can't come into the base of English. The, the, the Pushka is Eitzel Mizbech, you're right. But it's for one cause. One cause is considered one Pushka, one Nidava. And with that, we finish the Perek, the, two, the next two lines they take out. Or another Pshat is, that the, 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 it was won by the Mizbeach and they pulled it outside. Different Shadim and Tikkun Chad. Okay. Hadron Alach, Perek Shlesha Osser Shoifroiz. Hadron Alach, Perek Shlesha Osser Shoifroiz. Hadron Alach, Perek Shlesha Osser Shoifroiz. Oh, for that I need, is that, let me see that for a second. Is this it? No. Because there's a new sponsor for the Mishnah. Okay, the official Mishnah for Shidduch, oh, the official Mishnah sponsored for Shidduch for Esther Dvara Bas Leia Gittel and Dvara Bas Suri. Okay, who's that? Who's sponsoring the official Mishnah? Is he here in the room? No, 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 no. The official Mishnah, that's official. He gave a tremendous amount of money to say that. Now, the actual Mishnah for the next 18 Mishnayis, or we started yesterday, is by this person, for Shidduch Fest, the Dvar by Slay Gittel and Dvar by Suri. The way it works, in case, okay, you're not familiar, you missed that cheer. Fischl came up with this idea, so he put down a lot of money for this idea, and he wants people to sponsor Mishnayis. But nobody's doing it, so he sponsored it. But then, once Mark made the Shidduch, we had our second Shidduch going, so then this person said, you know what, I better jump on board. He has for Esther Dvar by Slay Gittel and Dvar by Suri. Okay. The, the following parak is going to be discussing what happens when you find different things, different items in different places. What do you do with it? So yesterday we discussed there were 13 shoifers. Now, if anybody knows this guy, this is Rabbi Nathan Farber. He has this thing called Style Adaf. It's a WhatsApp group. He used to be more consistent, like during brachas and... He does unbelievable work. I called him up back in Brachas and I said, you know, you need to do some stuff for MDY. He said he's too busy, he loves it, da, da, da. but so if somebody knows him, we got to get him on board. So anyway, this is uh, the way he described the whole sugya of the 13 shoifers. This tiklin chadatin, tiklin atikin, kinim, goizli oila. These are the 13 shoifers. Eitzim, levaina, zov, nedava, time six. There's six of the nedavas. Okay. And he writes here, the Levina, minimum donation. This is basically the daf in one picture. That's what he tried to do. The main point of the daf, amazing artist. Huh? Oh, I'm off the zoom. It's so big, it takes up the whole, wow. Okay. So, if you find money, look what's going on here. If you find money, these are the shkalim, right? Tiklin, chadtin, tiklin, tiklin. You're in the base of Igdosh. I'm assuming that's a little different. This uh, it was like, okay, let me show it. It's a shayfer. You find money laying on the ground. There's a pushka. Tiklin, tiklin, chadtin pushka. You found money between here and here. Okay? It's really 13 away. It, it didn't fit into the page. You did two, two rows. 
So he found money lying on the ground. Now, which pushka does it belong to? Does it go for birds? Does it go for shkolim? Machsashega, what is it? Between here and here. Says the Gemara. Says the Mishnah. What do you do? Karoiv l'shkolim, yiplu l'shkolim. It depends how close it is. We're going to go by the closeness. Not by roiv, not by anything else. Whatever, it's close to the, to the pushka of the machsa shekel, you put in the machsa shekel. You found money on the floor, it's next to the nadava. What do you do with nadava? Oilois for the mizbeach, so you put it in the oil. Linadava, you blew nadava. Mechza, lemechza. What if you found it right in the middle? Yiplu linadava. So now over here, the mission tells us that you go to Khumra. So if you could do, if you think it might go to Maksa Shekel, or for an Ayla, Ayla is the most Khumra. So you go, you give it to the Ayla. Linadava, yiplu nadava, maksa maksa, yiplu nadava. Bain. Now, each one of these cases, the, the mission is going to say, so Aleichem, come inside. Each one of these cases, there's only three cases. Now, there's 13 shoifers. You can find money between any two shoifers here. But the Mishnah only talks about three cases because three cases have a beautiful Kiddush. Menachem, Shom Aleichem, Kum Tzarein. No, no, get a chair, get a chair. You're in Nezis Nashem. What, are you? What Hasidus are you from? Because, no, I'm just Okay. Where's Shlaimi? Where's Shlaimi now? Okay. Um, so we're going to say, basically, I'll just tell you the secret here. If, if, if the uh, shoifers are lined up like this, so the mission is now talking about, it's between this shoifer and this shoifer. What the mission is going to tell us, the chiddush is, that the shoifers were like this. They weren't lined up. They were in a circle. So this is actually next to this. One is next to 13. That's chiddush number one. That's why it's telling you that if you found Dafka, these two shoifers, okay, we're going to see it in the Gemara. We also learned the Chiddush now that it goes by the Chumrah. Ben Eitzim Lulavaina, the two shoifers, Mr. Eitzim and Levaina. Here, these are very close to each other. Money for wood that goes on this back. Money. Wow, this is difficult. It's like an exercise. Money for Levaina. Oh, you're going to fold it. No, okay. I got that one. Karev le'etzim yiplu Again, whatever it's next to, that's what you put it in. Mechza le'mechza. But what happens, that's interesting. What happens when it's 50-50? Yiplu le'levayna. Why? Unlike what we said yesterday, that wood is a carbon. It is a carbon according to one man. The Omar could be a real carbon. But the Mishnah over here holds that wood is a machshir for a carbon. It only... You, you put a carbon on it, but it's not an actual carbon. It was actually a sheet that when we were learning Kachim, I'm just uh, remembering, that somebody said, according to somebody, you take the wood, and you do Kmita to the wood. Chop it up, you go like this, oh, that it's actual carbon. Okay, obviously we're not going like that. Yesterday we said carbon, so I looked back, but we said carbon. The gra takes out the word carbon. It takes that, so that, that might have been a mistake, according to the gra, that it's an actual carbon. Okay, fine. There's such a music that wood could be, could be a carbon. I'll go bottom. Karev leitzim yiblu leitzim. La levaina yiblu la levaina. Mechza lemechza yiblu la levaina because levaina, the frankincense, you take it, the stuff that you put on the mizbeach from the lechem aponim and other menachos, that's actual carbon. You could give pure levaina to the mizbeach. Ben kinin le goiz le oila. So that's, they're next to each other, right? We had a machlokis yesterday. What's kinin? Is it a nadava or a chayva? Is it just an a, a age group of a bird? Versus Goizle, that these are the younger ones, these are the older ones, or according to Chachamim, these are Chayva. A woman has to bring, she's a Yelash, she has to bring carbon over here, not. What do you do? Carve the Goizle Ayla, you have the Goizle Ayla, Mechza, Mechza. What I skip here, Goizle Ayla, Carve the Kinim, you have the Kinim, Carve the Goizle Ayla, you have the Goizle Ayla, same thing. So whatever it's next to, Mechza, Mechza, but if it's 50 50, you have the Goizle Ayla. Goizle Ayla, it's pure Ayla, Ayla is the most Chamar, more Chamar than, even if we go according to Chachamim. We're talking about what kind of carbon? According to Chachamim, let's say a woman, a Zav, a Zav, let's say, has to bring two birds. One is a Chathas, one is a Ayla. So 50% of his is a chat is not as strong as a Ayla. The other, the other Pushka is 100% Ayla. It's very strong. So put it by the, the more Chamer one. All Aylas. 
Ben Chulun and Maisu Shani. Oh, so we got to talk about Maisu Shani for a second because I was laughing, yeah? Told me yesterday, last night, at 4 o'clock in the morning, one of the things he's telling me. So ask anybody in Shul, what's my Maisu Shani? And if they don't do the daft, I don't know. I, I heard of it here. So Maisu Shani. So that's why we like to pull the straw every single time, same thing. Chazara. If you have a crap, you first give 2% to the Kayan, and then. Whatever's left over from the 98%, you give 10% to the levy. So now you're left with really 90%, let's call it. So Meiser Shani is, is 9%. Off your, it's 10% of what you have left. Off whatever you have, and it goes to you. You take the fruit. So let's say you, you have a tremendous amount of fruit. That's your business. You own uh, the whole thing in Florida, whatever. Not in Florida, in Shalim, in Israel. So it's a lot. It's a lot to carry, so you, you transfer it into money. But it's still a lot. It's a lot of money. What are you going to do with all that money? It's for you to use. So you go to restaurants, but there's a limit. You, you have millions of dollars worth of Meisr Shani, and 10% of it, 9% of it, is a million dollars. Now what? You're going to eat a million dollars worth of food in your Shalayim? So there's a lot of money going around your Shalayim that's Meisr Shani money. And people have nothing to do with it. They go back home, and they just leave it there. They leave it by their friends, and whatever. So what do they do with it typically? They buy animals. And they, that's the best thing you do. You buy an animal, you put it on the Mizbeach as a shlaman. We're going to see that later. So now, you at home, we're talking about at home. You have a bunch of Meister Shani money and a bunch of cash that's not Meister Shani. And you don't know where this wallet is from. A bunch of money in your house. If it's next to the Chulun pile, you give Chulun. But if it's 50-50, again, we go to Chumrah, it's Meisr Shani money, bring it to your Shalim. Zaklau. Holchen achar akarev lahakal. What does this line mean? Lahakal? Even lahakal. Meaning, you always go by whatever is closest, even if it means that that will bring out a kula. Like now, you have a $100 bill, it could be your own private money, it could be Meisr Shani money, but it's next to your wallet. So that's the kula goes to your wallet. But when it's 50 50, always the Chumrah. Says the Gemara, a very interesting Lashon, a Yerushalmi kind of Lashon. It's like, it's like French. Basically, what it means is, like, you know, like, why doesn't the Mishnah talk about this case? Between here and here. Chatsi Shekel, the Machsa Shekel, and Kinim. These two, why are you jumping to here, to Nadava? From here to here. This is more the answer that we discussed before. It was round. So it's more like this. This is from the Heritage Foundation, the Art Scroll. Sorry, it's Heritage Foundation. So in fact, as you see in this depiction here, number one is next to number 13. It goes a big, in a big circle. The Tiklin Chadatin is right next to the final Nadava, number six Nadava. So what's the Chiddush? That is the Chiddush. That was in a circle. You come to Beis HaMikdash, there's a big circle of Pushkas. We didn't know that. We thought it's lined up on a wall, and you go like this, like Remeri Balanes, and you go to this push. No, it's in a circle. It's a nice circle. It's like a flower. A nice circle. Mechzel and Mechzel, Yibbul and Nadava. You just skip this line over here. Is the Bay Meimar, someone to say, why is it that when you found between the, the kinim and the shkalim and the nadava. Vena uh, shkalim and nadava, yeah. 50-50, you don't know where it is. Says the Gemara, Is the boy meim ha-shem ha-yibu the shiara alishka? If it's machsa shekel, what's going to happen to it? It goes to the shiara alishka, like we discussed yesterday. What's shiara alishka? Left over the machsa shekel, goes to repair. Just, uh, you know, walls, building, whatever it needs to be repaired. But it's not kadosh. It doesn't have the gdusha of the nadava of, of Ayla. And therefore, 50-50, it goes to the Eilis, which is more important. It's more common. It's the Bay Meimar, and some say, why does it go to the, to the Nava? Mechze le mechze kimisha meis. The guy lost his money. Somebody lost money. Lost the money, it's as if he's dead. We don't know what to do with his money. It, it's ownerless. This money doesn't have an owner. So, if you have an Adava that doesn't have an owner, it's like he's dead. So, what do you do with it? You give it to Eila. Amr Biyesa, Adanot Hamon, this is interesting. Usually when we learn Bavli, by the way, we're, we're about to start an amazing Masefta. 
Uh, I'm excited about Yuma. It's very, very Gishmak. Yuma is a Gishmak in Mizrahda. And you should all bring your friends. You should tell your friends about it. Forget the Gemara. So you can tell them about the free Gemara. Poor Yossi Klein. 350. Right now it's about 400. But it's a Gishmak in Mizrahda. So when we get back to Bavli, so we usually say in Bavli, when I was over there, meaning when I was in Yerushalayim, I would said this and this and that. But now we're in Yush- we're this is Yerushalmi, written by Rabbi Yochanan. So when I was there, he's talking in Yerushalayim. When I was there means when I was talking in Babel. At the Ano Taman, when I was over there, when I was still there in Babel, Sham is called Rabbi Yehuda, Shoel Shmuel. We had this lesson already before. I heard this the voice of Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda asking Shmuel, the famous Om oh, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shmuel. Hifri Shikloi Vemeis. What happens if a person set aside Zedakah? Didn't give it yet. Vemeis. Om Raleh, Yiplu Ndava. Shifol Tana Ndava. There's a Maiso the Chavetz Chaim. Famous Chavetz Chaim. This uh, wealthy guy told the Chavetz Chaim, he says, um, You say, Hashem, Moir Shumasher. How's it possible? How's Hashem going to take away my money? I have a factory in Russia, and I have fields in Poland, and I have slaves over there. I have every, all over the world. He cannot, I don't think it's possible to take away my money. So Chavetz Chaim told him, You're right. He doesn't have to take away your money. He'll take you away from your money. Pasha. Guys, mafresh is shekel, nebuch. If you don't act quickly, you have all that money and that's daka and the mace. Okay, so we have to do it for you. Might as well jump ahead and do it. Yeah? There's uh, another mice, another mice I just remembered. Rabyankel Galinsky says a lot of his stories are from the time that he was in Siberia. So he said that he met two very wealthy Russians, Yidin, no longer wealthy because communists came, took all their wealth. So they told him, Tzchaval, sounds like a typical, I don't know if it's Maizik Shematoya, he says it's a true story, you're going to believe him. Tzchaval that the Panovich Rav, when he came to ask for money, he didn't put a gun to my head like the, like the Soviets put a gun to my head to take my money. Chaval, I didn't give it to them. I should have, we should have just given it to him. The Tzdaka. All right. Another Maizik, I just remembered. <laughs> no, there's a failure. Rabbi Yochem and Zaka, I think it was. He forced his nephews to give every penny of theirs to tzedakah. Every penny. So Gemara says, because he had a... Who was it? Except that, right. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm getting to. But it's Rabbi Yechim Zaka, right? Except 70. They didn't get... They refused to give everything. And uh, so what happened was he had a dream. He had a dream that the guy were going to come and take his money. So he couldn't tell them his dream, because then it wouldn't count for tzedakah. So he said, you got to give this duck, you got to give this duck. So they said, okay, okay, but enough. Let's leave a little bit for us. The guy came and took the last 70 of his. It's chaval, he didn't give. Anyway, the idea of giving when you could give, don't wait until it's too late. Hifr shik he died. Okay, skip that word. Asir se'ef shaloi. We learned the coin gadol, he brings every single day, he brings asir se'ef Mincha. They make breads out of it. So what happens if there's leftover money, set aside $100 for all the bread, and he got a good deal from Strauss, and it only cost him 80 Now he has $20 left over. What do you do? There's nothing you can do with the money. It's debt. There's nothing you can do with it. So you have to destroy the money. No, you could still buy oilies with it. Says the Gemara, on what we learned, that if a person found between the pushka of kinim, the birds that you bring, zav, zava, mtsayra, all these, yoledes, all these things. And between the dava, so the kinim are two birds. One is a ayla, one is a chatas. So what do you do with the money? You take the money, if it's 50-50. Now, Tikkun Chazan points out a very important thing. If you find the money next to one pushka, it's literally next to the pushka, or 20% away from Pushka A, but 80%, so you give it to the Pushka A. But it's not shot that you have a Suffolk. When it's close to that Pushka, it's 100% part of that Pushka. But when you, it's 50-50, it's in the center, and I say, okay, let's give it to the Chumrah, let's give it to the Ayla, that, that's not, we don't know what to do. We're saying, let's be Machmer. It's not that halachically we know it belongs to the Ayla. So based on that, the Gemara asks, Vish at the end of the day, you might be bringing a chatas here. One of the two birds is a chatas. How are you going to give it to the nadava and make the whole pile of money 
for Ayla when part of it is a chatas. How can you, how can you possibly bring chatas money as Ayla? It's not that halachically we establish that these two birds, one is a chatas, one is a ayla. Or, I'm sorry, that both of them are aylas. It's very possible that one of them is a chatas. Just we're saying, because it's, it's better to make everything a ayla, let's make it all a ayla. But maybe one of them is a chatas. How do you get away with that? Yeah? Again, if the money is, re- is there's two pushkas. Here, let this, this giant picture. If the money is right over here, uh, between this and this, okay? They're actually next to each other. Beautiful. The money is closer to the Nadava, right over here. So halachically, we're going to say that the money belongs to this pushka. It's not a suffix. How you doing, Eitan? It's not a suffix. And we're going to pass it. We know, halachically, it belongs to this pushka, 100%. But if the money is 50-50 and it goes to the Ayla, not to the Chathas Ayla, it goes only to Ayla, it's not because we know that it belongs to Ayla, it's just, that's what you do when you have a 50-50, you go to the more Chomer. But that's not fair. What if the part of it is a Chathas? How can you, how can you be makri of a Chathas as Ayla? Says the Gemara, Tnai Bezenu, Alam Yisar Shikri V'Aylais. Wow, we gotta move. It's because when you donate the money, you do it in such a way that if you have any questions, it's not a question. It's going to go to Noila. Even the Chatas. It's not 100% Chatas yet until you're done. It goes with the Das of Bezdin. Hoisho Hazois. You have a woman who gave birth. She has to bring a Chatas and Noila bird. But her money ended up right next to the Oila Pushka. So it goes to the Oila. But how could she cut him for the rest of her life? She never got a Kapara of it. You hear? He's back. I'm not going to say the story. Don't worry about it. You know I'm going to get you back. Okay. So, what? how's this woman going to have a kapara? Omer Bishok, my bezinu. Again. Ha mesapik is hakinim, hu mesapik is hapsulois. Or whatever the gear says. That, the Gemara is saying a little differently. Interesting. It's, 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 it's hard to do business with Beis HaMikdash. We said, you always lose out. You're never going to gain from, from, uh, from Beis HaMikdash. You should take a picture like from here, no? Again, sorry, come, come, Yisrael, come. We need a Gishmaka picture, the, the Bar Park Island. So, another shy guy. David, come, come. Maybe here's a guy that, that has no busha. Maybe you should, give, you should take the picture. So, what happens is that if you give birds, you sell, you're the bird guy. You sell birds to the Beis it's a great business because everybody needs birds. Women are giving birth every day. Everybody needs birds. So they do a deal with you and they say, because the way it works, right? We learned that most, most hold like this. The woman takes her money. She comes to Beis She doesn't have to wait around for the kain. She puts it in the pushka and she leaves. And we make sure that it's going to be nikrav. It's, it's going to go on the Mizbeach. She's going to have kapara. She's muta and everything. But the question is, what happens when the kain gets to, to the thing and he finds that the bird is treif? Something happened. So the guy supplying the birds, he has to fill in the gap. He has to pay for all the birds that are missing and, and are broken. And, 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 and Okay, so same thing here. That same guy, Nebuch, the bird supplier, he's making a fortune. You don't have Rahman him. He also has to supply the bird when there's a suffix, when the money is found next to the oil of Pushkin. We take all the money to the oil. He has to give an extra bird, one bird, I believe it's one bird, as a chatos for the woman, because the woman was already mechuper. She had her two birds went to Ayla. So Ayla she has. The only problem is the chatos. So he'll pay for one chatos bird extra for out of his own pocket. Anytime there's such a problem. That's the deal they make. You want to you supply birds based on English? Here's the deal. It's like Costco. You have to, you want to sell to Costco, you're going to take back all the returns, whatever it is. No questions asked. This is how it goes. Okay. They still make money. Says Gemara Leitzurka Deloy Ben Ketores Leitzim, Lulavayna. Lizov the Kaparis. Ask the Gemara, I don't understand. What about between, what if we find money between here and here, here and here? The, the, the only three cases we saw is between here and here, here and here, but what happened to all the other ones? Says the Gemara, Usniyasa Besaifa, we said it. Zaklal, Holchim Acha Karoiv, Mechzola, Mechzola, Hachmir. We have everything covered. In other words, the Gemara is saying that we have three major Chidushim here, and that's all we need. Everything else fits under that one line that no matter what, you go, if it's 50-50, you go to the more Chomer one. 
And if it's closer to something, you go to the closer one. But the three chidushim I wanted to tell you are, if I remember them, that first of all, the, the, the pushkas are round. There's a t'nai bezdin here. We go based on the bezdin. And what else? And we go l'chumra. Okay. Yeah? Uh, no, no, sorry. That a levaina, levaina is more of a, of a chumra, more of a carbon than wood, I think. Yeah? Does it say it by you like that? That's how I learned. Okay. Halacha Beis, the official Mishnah, now that we understand the official Mishnah, and if I can find it again. No, not this one, it's under here. I have to start writing it down. Sorry, guys. Sponsored by, for Shidduch, for Es Dvar Abbas Gittel, and Dvar Abbas Suri Bekar of Mamish. So, based on this whole thing that we decided, there's a lot of Maiser Shani going around in Eretz Yisrael, and with all this Maiser Shani, what are people doing? They're buying animals. When they run out of all the restaurants and all the food they could possibly eat, now what? You're stuck with hundred thousand dollars, so you buy a bunch of nice animals and give them to the base amigdash shlami. So if you find money, you find it right there by the vehema dealers. Loyla meiser, it's meiser. Why? Let me ask you a simple question. Why? Why is it meiser? Maybe it's the dealers. Maybe it's the dealers. You have a dealer. His money is chulin. You have the guy, the Israel that that, that transferred all his money into meiser. Any money he's about to buy an animal. Now you find the money. So Mechtes is the guy that, that lost the money. Mechtes is the Israel that, that has Maizashani money. Maybe it's the Seichers that it's Chulun money. And it's his money to keep. The answer is, because many more people with money, Maizashani money, than dealers. How many dealers are there? 100 dealers and there's 100,000 Jews that are looking to buy money. from. There's only one store owner, 100 people buying the store. So Mela, the Rive, is the, the, the people buying animals and therefore it's Maizashani money. Ur Barabai is Chulun. We're going to see in the Gemara. Money in our base is chulen. There's no Kaddish money laying around there. Or Bishalayim, and if you find money in Yerushalayim, Bishar, Kali Moisashana, during the year, chulen. You also sweep up the, the roads over there. Bishas, Haregel, Hakol, Maiser. But when it comes to the Shalish Regalim, to Yantif, everything is Maiser Shani money. That's the most of the money coming in from, from all the people all over Israel, well, Maiser Shani money. Boston Shani to Bazara. Wow, only seven minutes. If there is meat that is found inside the Bisham Mikdash, now people don't bring in meat to the Bisham Mikdash, it's Bazar, you're not So it's Lechaira, it's Kachim. So it depends. Evarim, Oilais. If they're large chunks of meat, that's Oila. It's a good sign, it's Oila. The Chatichais, Chatois. Now, if you find pieces of meat, it could either be from a Chatos or an Asham. Who's chopping up meat? Who's eating in the Azara? To eat in the Azara. You can eat shlamim outside of the Azara, but in the Azara. So it could be chatichos, chatois. Pieces that are chopped up, nice steaks, that's a chatois. Or bishalayim, zivchei shlamim. But outside of the Beis Amidosh, now we'll, we'll decide it's going to be, it's shlamim. Vizev is tuber tzurasoy. However, you cannot eat it. What you have to do is let it stay overnight, and that's called lina, your changing the way it looks, it starts changing its color, it's not refrigerated, but the point is it's lina. Now it's also to eat, because it's overnight. And then you burn it. And if you found meat outside of Yerushalayim, in other cities, the larger pieces, they didn't, they didn't bother chopping up. This came off in a veil, we're going to feed it to the dogs. The chaticha is mutarois. The smaller pieces are mutter. Turning to the Fiyutes on base, not sponsored by Eli Daikman. Schos, Bershidach, by Yaakov Badner and Stephen Sokolo. Dina Tamar Esther, Dina Tamar Bas Esther Rivka. Where's Yaakov Badner? Where is he? He's not here? Nishto? Nishto. For Shidduch, for my daughter, Sarlino Bas Golda Leah. Wow, tonight was a, a record Shidduch night. Okay. But if you found me during Yantif, 
Shabbos and Merubah, there's so much meat going around. Then even if you find a giant limb, you find a whole quarter animal, it's most likely for consumption and they just didn't have the time or whatever it was, it's mutter. I find this whole Ahmad fascinating. I always talk about it. I don't want, I'm not giving it any term, just I don't understand the exact Metzias because today we are so makbar on Akshayrim. So like if it's not Badats, I'm not eating it. Ugh, that fifth, that crazy. Terrible. And here we're talking about finding a piece of steak on the ground. It might be a guys, it might be from, from a, a Litvish or you know, whatever. Like something terrible. And, uh, and no, it's mutter, mutter. We're going to see it. It gets even worse. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to understand. Because in those days, the answer must be that in those days, there was, everybody knew how to shecht and there was uh, the, all the hummus and there was the best meat in the world. It was imagine. Telling somebody, uh, the, my chasana tonight, I don't know what heksher, but I found it. I found it, and it's, it's based on the rive, you could eat it. So I don't know if anybody would eat today. We're, we're more machmer than them. What's going on here? How could it be that you found money on harabais? Everything is kachim going on here. And it, it, you're allowed to use the money. It's, it's chulin money. It's on harabais. Most likely, it's kodesh money, no? Says the Gemara, First of all, is a concept you can't walk into the Harabayas with money in your wallet. Okay. But what about different deals that you do there? You buy, you sell. The Kayan is not going to let money out of the Lishka, out of the, out of the Kupa of the Beis Hamikdash, unless he first does a transfer of Gdusha from the money to an animal. So Mela, the Gdusha goes, transfers the Gdusha into the animal, the money becomes Chulin, now you find money. If you ever found money, first it's, it's locked up in a special room, but if you found money outside, then you know it's Chulin money. Hesach Das, it's like Hesia is Hesach. Hesach Das Ton Ibur Tzura. So we had this Shaila in Sachim. What happens if a person has a bunch of meat and he forgot about it? He wasn't paying attention, and it's possible, now the Gemara is talking about Tuma here. Explains not if it's inherently possible, but did somebody come around and metamet? You're right. The fact that you're telling me that if you were a Messiah Das, you had a piece of meat and you left it alone for a little bit, we're not talking about that's tomorrow. Today, we're talking about did somebody come along that's Tommy and touched it? So he says, You have to leave it overnight. Basically, you can't eat it. You let it first leave it overnight. Once it's left overnight, it's Lena. Now you could destroy it. Says the Gemara, Omer Avishayim, Masnisam, Omer Kain. You know what? You mechavim to the Mishnah. Two words to say what? If you found meat, what do you do? You don't eat it. Nimtza to ubar to rosa v'yitzel beisas reifa. You let it stay overnight and you burn it. Omer Rabbi Yosi, v'yaus. It's gevaldik what you're saying. Lachloi enat yachol shema niskal kil to rosa. What just happened on Zoom? I don't know, but Yosef is huge on the screen. How you doing, Yosef? Yosef, you better start getting a chair. <laughs> <laughs> in the house. Your grandfather should have his aliyah, his neshama should have an aliyah. Now, you see... Now, you see... Now, you see... He was? He said you the Oh. Lefkovich. What, what, what's his first name? How did, how did people know him? It's Lukowitz. Ah, Lukowitz. Why don't you, why don't you oh, correct me? He used to work at the Beaker Hoyler in Borough Park. Yisrael Shalitsky knows him. He said he's famous. His neshama should have an aliyah. Amazing. Huh? In the Mirishiva, but also, yeah, we know him from, uh, he donated the whole building, the whole Tarish Shalom building. They went to get a $100 check from him, and uh, they gave him a whole building. They didn't know what happened to them. All right. All right, Rishaya. Masnis Amr Kain. To Ubar Tsuroso of Yetzel Beis Hasreifo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He donated what? The dining room? I forgot what he did. The dining room in the mirror. Yeah, he donated the dining room. To Ubar Tsuroso of Yetzel Beis Hasreifo. Fine. So you see from here that it's not possible because of Hezek Because it was possible from Hezek Adas, you'd have to, you'd, you'd have to, uh, what do you call it? You'd, you, you didn't have to wait overnight. You wait overnight, and then you burn it. Omer B'yoyi Sivyoz. Now, so the Tikkun Chantin sticks a whole shot over here. We have a, Yerushalayim is considered Rosh Hashanah 
And anytime you have a Suffolk and Rishus Rabbim, Suffolk Tomei, Rishus Rabbim is Lohakum. So we're not worried that somebody might have touched it and made a Tomei because it's Rishus Rabbim, it's Rishus Rabbim. So therefore, Lohakum at Yochal, but the problem is you still can't eat it. Shemin is called Kutsurasi. Maybe this is left over overnight and it's Noisar and it's Asati. Nothing to do with Tumma. Isser of Noisar. And the villain going sticks in there. And Lisra, if you had the Yochal, because maybe it's not Noisar. Okay, therefore, it's Achmei Matubar Tzurosoi, Vesel Beis Hasreifa. Therefore, you have to do Tubar Tzurosoi, you have to leave it overnight, and then you burn it. Nimsim Gvulim, Rabbi Krispa, B'Shem, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Chanino, Evarim, Nevelois, Loikin, Aleim, Mishum, Nevelo. If you find a large piece of meat that's in a Vela, we decide it's in a Vela for you, and not only do we decide, we know for 100% certainty that it's in a Vela, to the point that if you eat it, you get Malchus, with you have Edim and Asra, Malchus, because it's 100%, this is not a Suffolk. Masnis and Omer says the Gemara, we find it in the Mishnah. Eivarim, Nevelois, Chatichos, Mutarois. Says the Gemara, Chatichos, Mutarois, Loi Mamesh. Well, it's Mamesh. Doesn't Chatichos mean that you're allowed to eat small pieces? It means, literally, you're allowed to eat it. Okay, the Gemara, so Eivarim, Nevelois. So therefore, it's literally that the aver, one limb, is considered an available 100%. Just like you're 100% allowed to eat it, so you're 100% not allowed to eat it. Therefore, you get, literally you get malchus. Rabbi Chris B'Shem, Rabbi Yezim, Rabbi Chanino. Im hoyu machroizos, if they were tied up, you know, a lot of people are familiar with this word from Bambatia, when the first, you know, first program that we learned, machroizos shell, dog him, and tied up, mutarois, because... That shows that it's edible. Not only that, Tikkun Khan says that in the Bishamikdash also, if you find a machroiz, a bunch of meat tied up, then it's not hegdish, you're allowed to eat it. It's chulim. Now, because we have no time left, so it's perfect time to, to learn one of the most famous sugis in Shas. Teisha Chanuyos. There's nine stores, Moichroiz, Besa'ar, Nevela. Nine Goisha stores. They're selling Treif Chazer. And one of them is the kosher butcher, right in the middle. If you don't know if you went in, after you take, your wife says, Are you sure you went to that place? What, where did you go? Oh, I don't know, I forgot. Did I go to, to the, the, the kosher style place or did I go to, to the other place? So, I say kosher style because when I, uh, I used to work in Indianapolis a lot, so I said, there's a, there's a kosher restaurant there. So I was so excited, I got in my car, drove there, it says, Kosher styles, like treif, you can't even believe how treif it was. But a big giant letters, kosher, and all the even go there and they think that it's kosher because it's kosher style. Okay, fine. So you go to the kosher style and you go to the kosher one. No, where am I? So you have to be very concerned, but you don't get malchus. You have to be choshish. Choshish means you have to be concerned that you might have gone into the treif store. But you don't get malchus for that if you eat it afterwards. Lunintas, but if you found it on the sidewalk, what if you found a piece of flesh on the sidewalk without the plumper, without the hechsher garnish? You found it on the sidewalk. So since there's nine trap stores, you get malchus. But what about the opposite? You go like in the shuk. There's nine stores, nine duchanim selling kosher meat. And one of them is selling non-kosher meat. Now you don't know. I forgot to mention the big yisoid. This is yisoid when it comes to sveikas kokavua. Since the suffix was initiated in the store, the stores are stationary. So when it comes to stationary, kokavua kemechza mechza So all the stores, 50-50. But what, if you find the meat on the sidewalk, so the Suffolk happened in a non-stationary place. It happened on the sidewalk. That's where the Suffolk originated. That's when it started, that Suffolk. To you. Yeah, it started in the store inside. But you found it on the sidewalk. Sidewalk is not Kavua. Once that, then you go by the Roiv. Uh, Unbelievable. So if you find a piece of meat, in front of the store, could very well be, forget it, a bad extra, it could very well be 100% treif, you're allowed to eat it, because nine of the stores are kosher. So you go after the right, just a real quick, it's late already, okay, fine. I'll uh, ask you anyways, because we're in Bar Park, and it's, it's a little shishi, and these guys, shachers, they'll push it off, it's still be his mind. The, 
Shaila, Shaila Nalacha. If you, Costco sells a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits. They have thousands of pounds of fruits. And next to Costco, in our show, there's nine small makolets. And all together, all their fruits together equals 10% of what Costco has. But it's nine stores versus one store. So do we go by the nine stores or do we go by the volume of fruit? You know what the answer is? Where's, where's Hillel Kamiansky? It's a uh, machlagis. <laughs> oh. oh, so so they want to bring rice from our sugi right here. But okay, we're going to get into a different time. Omar Vyechanan. Hanizu Yad Nachri, Kinizu Vyechanan. You found a guy, a guy is walking down 30th Avenue, and he has a piece of meat, he's offering you a steak. So it's like finding it in the sidewalk. Since you're in Bar Park, 9 out of 10 restaurants are kosher. You can take it right out of the guy's head. Unbelievable chiddush. He was leaning on Rabbi Mone. And he saw the Chadar Moe, he saw a guy, Mikatim and Susio. McDonald's, right? I thought, I think they said that once. McDonald's meat has a little bit of this. That he was taking a horse and making nice steaks out of the horse. Umapik Labaro, he was putting it out to sell. A Malay, Hodohi, the Omar Rabbi Yochanan. You know, he's making fun, sort of. This is what Rabbi Yochan said. Look what a guy is doing. He's selling horse meat. This is, this is your guy. So you're going to take a steak off a guy? What if it's horse meat? How can you be so much on a guy? When could you buy, when could you take a steak off a guy when it comes out of, does it still exist, that restaurant? What's the name of that? Uh, Kosher Delight. Still exist? I haven't been in since. <laughs> What's the big one? I don't know. I haven't been in bar fucking. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. What's the name? I was just called Amaritz in the middle of my shear. The only maggot in the world that can be called by a, by a guy in the shear, Amaritz. And he liked it. Give him it. Wow. Wow. It's a classic. And tomorrow's classic, Ali Savansky classic. Join this guy's shear. They call him Amaritz and he loves it. He's amazing on of. They don't have, they fashion don't have. Okay, anyways. Venture on the from the Israel. Chab and Azrus. Oh, so that's it. If he comes out of the restaurant, got leaves, whatever it is, so fine. You could use it, but otherwise it might be horse meat. Do we have to stop here? Wow. <laughs> One more minute. It's a Mardika story. This guy in Chippari he wanted to buy, it's a terrible story. He wanted to buy a piece of meat from his friend. His friend hated him. And he said, I, you, you're not going to get from me. You, you're going to suffer. So what does the guy do? He tells the guy, nicely, like you can't buy cigarettes. He tells the adult, buy for me. So he tells the guy, go in there, pretend that you're buying for yourself. So the guy bought. Then he comes to him in shul, he says, Oh, Malay, Leonasmus, Lakarche, I got everything, all the chum meat I got against your will. Ha! I got it. But the other guy's a yid. Oh, Malay, ha! Velav, Vesan, Nevelo, obviously. I sold the guy Nevelo, Chacham. What do you think? I'm going to sell a guy good meat? In other words, he told him, I did a shkita yesterday. I had Nevelo meat. Everybody has Nevelo meat, like 40% is Nevelo. What do you think I'm going to do with it? I sold it to the guy. Shaiti, you send the wrong guy. You should send the chassidish yid. You send the guy and you ate your whole chum is nevela. Rabbi Yerushim Rabbi Chanina, Maisa Bolif Neir Rabbi Va'amar. So this story came in front of Rabbi. Like Kula Mine Meisor Mekoylem Ditzi Poyin. You can't be choishish from this guy that he said that he sold that he had a nevela that the other place is a nevela because at the end of the day you have to announce if you have a nevela you have to announce. That's one shot. The other shot is in the Gemara over there, it brings the Tikkun Khatan also that he, even, even the guy himself, when he says, I sold you Nevela, you can't trust him because he's trying to chep him. But it's not so posh. The, the Tikkun Khatan says, no, at the end of the day, if a guy tells you straight out, I sold you Nevela, you have to trust him. But the point is for the other, nobody else has to be that there's an Nevela roaming around town, have a wonderful day. <laughs>
Menachem, do share malas. The other one says share malas from Menachem at the Eli Trump. Wow, we went overboard here. Look up at Bar Park. Gedalia, we went overboard. Sorry.